Are you understanding now? So if can you go back now? This <laughs> yeah, this is how where how it looks like now. Now the interesting thing, as I said, in the Vajrayana is there are many different kinds of deities, practice, mantras, rituals, this and that, or include Lama dance and everything. But you can think in a way it's very simple. Only three things they're working on. One is working with the channel through the moment. Lama dance is all about body movement. Like a down. Have you seen the Lama dance before? Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole you understand. Body movement is happening. And the, all the tunko and all this. And there's of course there is also Bindu is involved. So there's a whole working of body. This is what we call the channel practice. And first you have to open, unblock all the channels. And then the second, the wind will slow easily. You understand? And then the third, then it's possible to bring this two pole into. This is the third wall. Can you bring it back now? <laughs> yeah. So this is how it looks like now. Now I will I will bring into the different different like a different <coughs> little talk here. So here you can see the red channel, which is right, which is the right channel. And here you can see the white channel, which is the left channel. And this three channel, which is here is the so-called blue, which is not really blue, sky blue, but it's, it's a more which we call center channel, which is channel of wisdom channel. Are you understanding? From, from the Vajrayana point of view, okay, now we understand where this dualistic is coming from. If you look at from the subtle body point of view, because this red window and white window is separate. Do you understand? It's a separate. One is, one is white here, one is red here. It's a separate. In order to, now the, our, our whole job is bring these two hold together in a unit. And then there's some great master, you know, try to introduce this idea in realism to this, this student. And they, they couldn't understand this. What is this? And then they start to make a, they understand. They start to paint it, they start to explain from the picture, it's still they couldn't understand. And then they show this male Buddha and female Buddha naked together. <laughs> wow, I mean, that, that is it. <laughs> what is that now? What, what is happening with the Buddhists? Like a naked Buddha and naked, <laughs> naked female Buddha is now joining together? It looks like a yes. and when people when people have when people have too much wind here, and that's interesting. It's all about wind, the Vajrayana. When people have the wind, the inner wind, how to say in German wind? Wind. Wind, wind is wind. <laughs> so when people when that's interesting here. When people have too much wind concentrated in this area, and their whole life is after the sexual divide. Do you understand? They are whole, they are working for, they are earning money, and they are just spending everything for sex. And that they think the sex is the highest meaning of their life. That, that, that's true. That's, there are millions and millions of people that, even when it gets worse, if there's too much wind, then people do crazy things, which, which we see in, sometimes in the news, which we can't imagine. Why they are doing it? Because they are all controlled by this lower secret wind. I understand. And if sometimes people have too much wind here in this navel chakra around this, and people just eating, just eating whole life, just <laughs> trying to go to the best restaurant on the whole planet, or try to eat the best food, and then if they get something to eat, and they think that's the meaning of life. They're not too much down there. Sometimes people are, you know, here one part and here one, but that is the meaning of life. And here is include. Here in group, people have this sensation of, you know, like a, like a, you know, desire for newest, they the newest brand of the clothes and all this, all this material, material is too much wind over there. And then, here, in the heart. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So, what I'm trying to say here, so why we went this path? Because we were talking something completely different, right? 
<laughs> what, what we're talking about? Yes. Uh, we were talking about the center channel. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, now let's let's come back to the point here. So now we understand here because of this two pole, the subtle channel inside. That's why we have this duality. Our job is in order to bring non-duality. So why? Now the question is here. Why these two are separated? And there, the interesting part comes. The three. What are the three poison? Attachment, aversion, ignorance. You understand? So these three are the. We, we call it in Buddhism, even in Vajrayana, poison. Why we call it poison? It's not like a something will going to kill you, but that is distraction. That that, that is the obstacle to in order to bring these two poles together here. Okay, now where are these three? From the channel point of view, from the inner wit point of view. So here, when you see the red, can you go there? The right channel, you understand, right channel is expressing the aversion. You understand, now look at very carefully here. Now you go to the left channel, left channel is white, which is expressing Desire, desire, attachment, all these things. And now, actually here, in the central channel, the, which we call the lower part of the central channel, which is not central channel, we call it in, in, a, in the Kala Chakra Tantra, we call it poison channel. Very interesting. Yeah. Poison channel. Do you understand? It's a, it goes from downward, where the ignorance is expressed. Do you understand? So because of this, because of this A, B, and C, so that did you can, can you see here the right, the right, le, white and red is kind of almost like holding the center channel. Can you see this here in this, this picture? Almost like holding it. This is interesting here. I mean, that's I mean, see, this is so important to understand this at least this, this, this how what we are working in this Vajrayana. And interesting now, in, in another word, in a, here, in, between, in, a, his, in the central channel, there are many other elements of here. The one is we call light force. Are you understanding that? We, we will finish soon. Yeah, we will finish around 4.30 a.m. <laughs> so, I mean, did you bring Red Bull with you? <laughs> did you bring the Red Bull and, you know, Ex express or whatever to 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 wake up. No, just kidding. I just I will conclusion. Make it more shorter. Is, is it something interesting for you or not really? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if it is not interesting, just tell me directly, and I will <laughs> go into a different different topic. I mean, it is interesting for me, so I thought maybe interesting for you. So now, because in the central channel there is not many elements. One element we call is life force. The interesting part is that why we are still alive. How Vajrayana explained, because we have still life force. So life force is in the central channel. Huh? What is life force? And when you when you enter into Tibetan book of death, which we call Pardo, I mean it's I recommend you to read all of you, Tibetan Book of Death if you didn't read. So, the, the, who, like in around the 8th century, the Padma Sambhav from in Tibet, and rediscovered in the 14th century. So, what it said in, in the Tibetan Book of Death, which is Pardo actually, life force, we still is alive because there is a life force in the central channel. And now, why it is not collapsing? Why we still have a life? Because there is this. This is left, what is that? Right, right nostril and left nostril. So right nostril and left nostril is holding the life force. So that's why when we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, the life force is holding. As soon as you exhale and there's no inhale for some time, and different experience you will experience. Something starts to shake in body. 
Do you understand? And then the five elements in the body start to collapse. And then what will happen in the end? This is what will happen. The life force will collapse. So life force will collapse in the heart chakra. And if you had practice of poa and so on and so forth, that is the moment from here. Normally there are many ways to go the consciousness out. Either from the lower chakra, from the short toilet, long toilet, duration from the restricted chakra, or from the this air, from the nostril. So then you will be entered into different dimension, different real. But what is the poor actually doing here? So it will help us to from here center channel when it, life force will collapse here. So consciousness can go from the center channel to up from this. And that's why in the poa, so that you, pra you practice, hmm? you, you visualize, you practice like a slowly bringing this, your, the, your ally of consciousness up, 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 connect with and go out to Amitabha and slowly come back, 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 back again. And then whatever. So this is what happening in this very moment. So this is just a training. Introducing to the poa is when normally in Tibetan culture we do the poa when somebody is what? Dying. Do you understand? Or after death. So there is also poa practice which you can practice while you are alive in order to familiarize. You know, some of I think most of you got poa and we were going to get. So this is what happening inside. So it's a whole about central channel. So this is how, uh, it's, it's about how to bring the consciousness from here. So from if you can go out from here, that's the koa will work in a pure land. You will end up in a different dimension, so-called pure land of different deities, and that's a whole different dimension. We, we talk about that. So now we understand here, right channel, left channel. So why it why it is kind of red, because it's representing the solar. You understand the sun energy, the moon energy, and then all the others. So now we understand this two pole, and now there is this, what do you call this one? There's a chakra. So what is this really chakra is all about? If you speak from the Vajrayana point of view, chakra is the junction, the junction of all the, what, channels. So, I mean, if you look at it from a phys physiology kind of point of view, our body point of view, so there is a brain, from the brain there is a no, three layer of brain, what do you call? Outer, inner, and the smallest, the oldest brain inside. From there, the spinal is going down, no, all the way down. The whole channel, a bundle of channels going through the center channel. No, the, 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 what do you call, the center, what do you call, central neural, neural system? Santara, what? Santara Yeah, exactly. And from here, it will start, <laughs> start to go in here. It start to separating, it start to separating, it start separating. So where the, it's all junction. So even for the subtle, subtle channel, they have also junction. So what is happening here, this is the subtle channel junction, where the all, the, for example, from here, do you know how many, kind of, here, here I think we have a beautiful, oh, here it's also coming. <coughs> By this merit, may all beings attain enlightenment. May they defect the enemy of wrongdoing. From the stormy waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death. From the ocean of samsara, may I free all. Oh, baby.